Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. All right, we're done. You're cleared to land it. some work. spends a fortune to maintain the lodge, but I'd say it's worth every credit. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. So, we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can including some way to fight them, if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them.
All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Regret it coming out of the retirement. Artists, but we Constellations got the writ of the righteous. Of Keeps me young. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did, now would be a good time for one. Good luck out there on the fringe. The eyes showing signs over another one of those big anomalies. Here, catch a smile. Almost ten years? Admiral, it's, uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help. That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the Archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway?
very well. Then, as a good friend, perhaps you could kindly explain to me why I shouldn't have the both of you escorted from the building. With all due respect, Admiral, this is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. That's quite a noble gesture. Is this true, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully, to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. I wish it was that simple. If the Navy gives its blessing for you to undertake this operation, then we assume responsibility. And frankly, I'd never forgive myself if you didn't return. I appreciate the concern, Admiral. But that crew was my responsibility. No matter how difficult the risk, those men and women are coming home. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to you, Slades. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for.
Do you need something? jump to a few different systems. We are lucky to have some pilgrims who have never been off-world. Seeing so many marvels can be a life-changing experience. Space travel is dangerous, but fortunately most ships don't engage us. Whether it's respect for our religious beliefs or the fact that we carry only passengers, I don't know. Have you ever felt something spiritual while traveling the stars? I've jumped dozens of times and I still don't know I've had the revelation that Keeper Aquilus describes, but I'll keep jumping. I completely agree. It was a pleasure talking with you. We have to be going. But I hope God watches over you out there in the stars. Feels like walking into a dream. Oh, thank you. Right now, I feel like I need all the help that I can get. Phew. Okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes, yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. Yes, exactly. Since most of my gear was destroyed, I depended on those landmarks to orient myself while I was stranded. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the crew's shuttle wreckage. <sighs> Let's go.
Well, this is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? It was difficult and painful, but it kept me alive. It was home. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. Sure, if we're lucky. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing. Why are we stopping? I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, I don't know where to begin. The Starborn's technology is simply astonishing. It's just almost too much to process. Of course not. No one has. If an encounter with this level of importance had occurred in the past, I assure you that Constellation would be well acquainted with it. Yes, I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You do understand the significance of this encounter. 
don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, we could learn so much from them. That's what disturbs me. Can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they're here to lay claim to the artifacts, but what's their true motivation? What aren't they telling us? It's very disturbing, especially with all of that cutting-edge technology at their disposal. Damn. Oh, if only we knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. No, not time travelers. I don't think the science is there to support that theory. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there. Something that feels very old, perhaps even ancient. Whatever the case may be, I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. Exactly. We must use all of the tools at our disposal to learn more about the Starborn and their connection to the artifacts. I'm grateful you feel that way. And don't worry, I promise to be careful. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, I'd lay on the ground and stare up at the stars. I was absolutely convinced they held a secret. I'd remain there for hours in silence, eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering, and I need to hear what they have to say. Hmm. Although I'm flattered that you think of me that way, there's a time and a place for that sort of talk. This is definitely not one of them. Well then, I've certainly wasted enough of your valuable time. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. We've located where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked. Well, we're not there yet, but damn, it does feel good. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going.
all geared up and ready to go. been on this planet. Anything on your scanner? Judging from this debris, the crew's shuttle sustained far more damage than my own. Oh, those poor souls. This is what's left of the crew's shuttle, but it looks like parts were scavenged and dragged somewhere else. Could there have been survivors? if I have to. Just turn around and, and leave. I know how to use this thing, and I will. Oh my god. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just go away. I'm not going to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go!
Hey, I'm not stupid. Last time people were here, they promised to help. They ended up tricking me. They stole all of my good stuff and left me behind. I'm not going to let that happen ever again. Yeah, sure. Try and trick me. No, no way. I'm not getting fooled again. Forget it. Stop it right now. Put away that gun and talk to us. We want to know what happened here. See? You're not nice at all. I knew it. You're a liar. That's all grown-ups do is lie. What? Oh, yeah, right, exactly. I was wrong to get so angry. We are here to help you, and we promise to tell the truth. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? Take me home? I was born here. This is my home. You're going to have to come up with a better story than that. You were born here? Hold on. Oh my god. Your parents? Your mum and your dad? What were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Jenna and Elias. Private Jenna Marsh and Corporal Elias Oberist. You're their daughter. Listen to me. I knew your parents. They worked with me on the Dauntless. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. My parents told me she was in command of their ship in a huge battle. They said she was a hero and the bravest person they ever knew. Yeah? Well, I wish you wouldn't have taken so long. My parents are dead. My father died a long time ago. And my mother, she was killed by those, those monsters at the graveyard. It's just me here now, all by myself. Let me ask you a question. Oh, actually, I don't even know your name. Oh, yeah. My name's Sona. Sona? <laughs> what a lovely name. Sona, you mentioned a graveyard. Is that where the crew is, um, you know? Buried? Yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces, like the ones my mom and dad had, hanging on them. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah. Phew. I don't even know where to begin. I'm trying to hold it together. There's just too much coming at me all at once, you know? I'm just so relieved that you're here. There's absolutely no way I could have handled this alone. Am I? I feel like a nervous wreck. Oh, there's so much to process. But I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. Good. Just be careful. Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile life forms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory.
have to say it. I said I don't want to go. Leave me alone. So now, calm down and listen to me. It's much too dangerous to stay here all by yourself, darling. I don't care. This is my home. You can't make me leave. We can't leave her here. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can you talk to her? I knew I could depend on you. Now all we have to do is convince this poor girl that she's better off leaving the planet with us. I just... I don't know if I have it in me to say the right things. I can hear you talking about me. And I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. Could you just talk to her, please? Why won't Sarah listen to me? I've been alone for a long time, and even when bad people visit, I've been safe. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had, does it? Mom told me there were really bad people out there. Worse than the ones I've already seen. But uh, leaving mom and dad behind, it's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon them. Yeah, maybe I could get a cool ship just like yours. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get, well, wherever we're going. That poor girl. I hope we've made the right decision. I do hope that's true. We're ripping Sona from the only home she's ever known, and casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time, please. Thank you. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Let's go. Before we head back to the ship, I wanted to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. You had to push me to come out here, and if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl.
and I intend to repay you for that, even if it takes the rest of my life. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world, and until this very moment I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes, wider than they've ever been opened before. And it's all because of you. Perhaps. I suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now, won't we? Ah, <sighs> well. I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. This time, under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan, and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. talk for a bit. I do? You must have read my mind. Catch you later. easy, you know. Making decisions that could end the lives of soldiers pledged to your cause. Welcome back. Did you find your answers? Not only that, but we found someone there. Alive. A child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. After her parents died, that poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world. Alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. I'm sorry. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known? Yes, of course. 
I think we can all agree that this was another unfortunate circumstance of the Colony War. What you'd call an unfortunate circumstance, I call a tragedy. You're absolutely right, Sarah. It is a tragedy. One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck to both of you. It's been an honor. Once we're done here, we should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge. to explore the universe, there's nothing quite like the feeling of returning home. We should probably talk. There you are. I was wondering when you'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the lodge without any trouble. Yeah, it was kind of hard though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. Sarah gave me directions. She's really good at that. Riding that gnat thing was super cool. It was like magic or something. Like something from the stories mom used to read. But the hardest part was having everyone staring at me. All these people in one place, it's kind of scaring me. I don't know why. <laughs> they sure won't. They have to catch me first. It's true. You're one of the toughest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillionaire, Sarah. <laughs> oh, don't I wish. This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa. Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get... My own ship? Exactly. And this is the perfect place to begin your education. I understand. Oh, and don't worry, I learn real fast, so you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well, I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects.
Look at this. All these people, their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. I am proud. <laughs> I was simply too foolish to realize it until you changed my perspective. You know what? You're absolutely right. I do. Which is why we really need to talk about our friendship and where things are headed with us. Just let me have another moment here, and then we can head over to the waterfall, so we can talk in private. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other. But this place, this exact spot, there's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. I knew you'd appreciate it. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. Sometimes yes, and sometimes no. <laughs> I've certainly learned that you can't make everyone happy. Anyway, uh, I didn't ask you up here to admire the scenery. I asked you up here because I wanted to talk about something very important. I know you are. Just give me a moment. I have a lot I need to say. 
It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Maybe. But for how long? I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps, <laughs> hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. Are you sure? For all we know, it's in my nature to keep people at arm's length. Or worse, push them away. Right now? Are you talking about Constellation? Or what exactly are you saying? Sorry, I, um, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel... complete. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. I received a message from my mother a few days ago. She's returned from another one of her sightseeing cruises. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. We never discussed this, did we? The thing is, my mother and I don't talk very much. We're not estranged or anything of the sort. We're just far apart. Sure, when you're younger. But as soon as you get older and they begin controlling your life, that's when you need to strike out on your own. Oh, I'm certain they felt they were doing the right thing. You see, both of my parents were diplomats working under the flag of the UC Administrative Division. After I completed my basic education, they signed me up for a one-year apprenticeship in their department, without bothering to ask. Mm, wanted isn't the right word. Demanded would be more appropriate. For my apprenticeship, I was sent to Sidonia. My job consisted of drafting political policies and arbitrating trade disputes. The silver lining of the job was that it allowed me to spend time exploring every square inch of Mars. I was swallowed by it. Months before the apprenticeship ended, I dumped my diplomatic certification and joined the UC Navy. Of course, my parents didn't approve. We had a huge argument that resulted in all ties being severed between us. Well, that wasn't the worst of it. You see, my father was killed during the opening shots of the Colony War. 
I returned to Jemison for the funeral and reunited with my mother. After that, we vowed to stay in touch. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? Always concerned with how I'm feeling. That's why I fell in love with you. Your smile, your caring. <laughs> it brightens even my darkest days. Listen, I'm going to be completely upfront with you. All this talk of family, it makes me wonder where our own relationship stands. <laughs> you mean that? You'd do that? For me? I've been dreaming about this moment and still... I don't know what to say. <laughs> yes! Yes! Of course! Yes! Ah, I just need a little time to think about the ceremony. I have some thoughts about how we should move forward. You know, I used to dream about finding the love of my life. And here you are. All I ever needed was you, right here beside me. Always a pleasure. Oh, I can tell I'm going to like this. Ah, my heart melts when you say those things to me. Take care of yourself. <laughs>